I want you to stay low and go. Use your brains a little bit, though. If the smoke's not in the room with you, don't start, oh, Captain David said crawl out. No, I did not. Use your brain. If you can walk out the door, walk out the door, right? Yeah. But if, the, if it's smoky, then you got to get below the smoke because it's what down here? What's below the smoke? Air. What kind of air? Clean. Fresh air. Fresh air. Right. You can't be upright. Everybody go, fresh air. What you can't do is breathe the carbon monoxide. You can't breathe the smoky air. That's, that's not good for your lungs. That's why we don't even walk in like that. It's not TV. We don't come in, boom, I'm here to say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not Chicago Fire. We're not even dangling off a building. We're not. No, 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 no. If we say it, it's, it's not, we're not superheroes. I'm not a hero at all. I'm, I, like I told you before, I, I'm a parent, just like your parents. I have my own children, just like you guys' kids. I'm not a hero. A hero is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> a hero. I'm not a hero. The firefighter stand is not a hero. So we just do an extraordinary job. We're ordinary people who do an extraordinary job. That's it. We're just like you guys. So anyway, here's the part where you got a little confused. What do we do in the event that your clothes or your body is on fire? Oh, stop it. Tell me. Stop it. Right. When your clothes or your body is on fire. If you oh. see the fire, you don't see the fire over there and go, oh, let me stop dropping holes and go into the drawer. That's not a waste of time as you're setting yourself up to get hurt. Why you, if the fire is over there, why are you rolling over here? Just in case. All right, come on, everybody. And you're not paying attention. And you're causing yourself to go the wrong way. What if the fire is over there? And this group right here, you're laughing, but you're crawling towards the fire. That's not funny. Right, see, now you're going, oh, yeah. <coughs> Stop. So oh, on, move off. Right? Oh. Right? The smoke alarm's going off. So what are we going to do? Get out the house safely. Get out the house safely? How do we get out the house safely? Ah, here's the thing about that. So we're going to correct that. Because you were right until you said stop, drop, and roll, and go. So let's talk about that. So the alarm going off. The alarm's going off, right? The smoke alarm's going off. We see a fire. We see smoke. Or we hear the alarm go off. And we don't see fire, and we don't see smoke. We need to stay low and go. Now, if the reason you stay low is because the smoke might bank down. Now, if the smoke is here, can I breathe in the smoke? No. So I need to what? Stay low. And go. So everybody stand up. I'm a very interactive person. I like being interactive. Give yourself some space. Give yourself some space. And remember, in the fire department, we practice safety first. No running, no pushing, no shoving. Because then people get hurt like that. Put your hands down. You're not exercising. So we need to stay low and go. So beep, 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 beep. The smoke detector goes off. Which way are we going? Let's go. Stay low and go. Why are we crawling? Is it smoking here? So what do we got to use? Like our face up. Our brains. Our head. There's no smoke. So what we got to crawl down for? We can just walk. Now let's say, let's say since you did that, let's say that the smoke is right here on our waist. What we got to do? Stay low and go. Stop. Why are we crashing into each other? <laughs> we told you to go water down. But with you guys, we really give you the real deal. Now, did you see me coming here with, with Sparky the Fire Dog? No. no. Did you see me coming here with all kind of tips and tricks and all this kind of stuff to get you guys to pay attention? No. No. I'm talking to you like I'm an adult and like I'm a parent, right? Yeah. Right, because I have kids also, and I am an adult, and I'm also a fire official. I'm a fire captain. So here's my direct answer to you. I never want you to hide. Yes. You never hide from the fire department. And we're going to talk about that. Hiding will get you in trouble. You might not make it out that house if you're hiding. So we don't hide. So let's talk about that. Because look at everybody's face right now. I love it when our faces get like that. That means you're paying attention to me. And you're listening. And you're soaking it in. 
because I want to see all these beautiful, handsome faces every day. I don't ever want to read about you in the newspaper or have to come get you out your house. So let's erase that from our minds. You don't hide from us. You don't hide from us. You don't hide under the bed. You don't hide in the bathtub. You don't hide behind the closet door. You don't, you don't hide, hide in the kitchen. You, don't, you don't hide in the closets. You don't do that kind of stuff. You have to yell at us. Hey, hey, I'm over here. Help, help, help. You got to get out. And we're going to talk about that too. What else can you tell about fire safety? No, not really fast. Not really fast. We don't do anything really fast. I know that's shocking, right? What you mean? We don't do anything really fast. Yeah. Ah. You know what? I'm going to change your what? Your, your batteries and your smoke detector. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I have a smoke detector with me here today. We're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about another detector too. Uh-oh, we need to start thinking about that. What you know about fire safety? So far, y'all making this pretty easy. I love it. When, the, when the house is on fire, you're supposed to go down low. When your house is on fire, you're supposed to... He, he, he trying to go ahead, go down low and what? It's another part about that. So if the house is on wait, wait, put your hands down. Let's talk about that real quick. So if my house is on fire right now, I'm just gonna go down low. No. What else I gotta do? No. Put your hand, who wants to see us get all dressed up? Okay, put your hands down. Who wants to go see the fire engines? Put your hands down. I know we doing the time. We right there. That's a lot, right? We're gonna do a lot of stuff, but we're gonna, we gonna do all look at the teachers. They're like, really? We're gonna do, we're gonna do all that stuff. But here's the rule. Here's the rule. All I require is that during the presentation, okay, during when I'm talking to you and you're talking back to me, but you have to at some point you have to keep your mouths quiet and your ears and your eyes wide open. Everybody got it? Yes. Everybody understand it? Yes. All right, so here we go. Who can tell me about fire safety? What they know about fire safety? Let's see, what you know? Fire safety is like never play with fire. Never play with fire. Never play with matches. Never play with matches. I love it. Never play with cigarettes. Never play with, never smoke cigarettes. Never smoke cigarettes. Never smoke cigarettes. <laughs> and never play with cigarettes. I love it. What else? Um, you should always, um, the firemen, they should always wear a suit when they're, um, when they're going to save someone. Hey, everybody say awesome. Awesome! Because you are looking out for my suit. That's the first, first time anybody ever came The first time anybody ever came here, huh? Give me a Y'all look old. Y'all want coloring book? Who wants a coloring book? We don't need to show. We don't need to play a 